Hi everybody, this is Mrs. T for Mrs. T's Acid Base Video 1. In this video, I will be going over how to find the pH of a strong acid, how to find the pH of a strong base, how to find the pH of a weak acid, and how to find the percent dissociation of a weak acid. So the first thing that you need to remember is that your strong acids are HCl, HBr, HI, HNO3, H2SO4, and HClO4. For the oxy acids, the oxy anion acids, it's always the one with the most oxygens that will give you the strong acid. So HNO3 is a strong acid, but HNO2 is weak. H2SO4 is strong, H2SO3 would be weak, HClO4 is strong, HClO3, ClO2, and ClO would all be weak acids. If we wanted to find the pH, of a 0 0.0100 molar HCl or hydrochloric acid, we would assume that the molarity of the acid would be equal to the molarity of the H plus or the H3O plus. There is no Ka value given because the reaction goes to completion. We assume 100% dissociation for strong acids. <clears throat> The reaction that drives this is HCl, yields H plus plus Cl minus, or if we put in the water on the reactant side, we would have hydronium ion H3O plus instead of H plus, but we treat them the same in these calculations. We would assume that a 0.01 molar HCl would yield 0.01 molar H plus. So all we're going to do is negative log the concentration of the acid, which would be 1 times 10 to the minus 2 molar, we negative log that and we get a pH of 2.0 for the strong acid, hydrochloric acid, at 0 0.0100 molar. <clears throat> if we want to find the pH of a strong base, our strong bases, remember, anything group 1 plus hydroxide or calcium or strontium hydroxide. In order to find the pH of this base, we are going to assume that the concentration of the base is equal to the concentration of hydroxide. Again, this is ionic, so it dissociates completely. We are going to take the negative log of the hydroxide ion to get the pOH. We're going to then subtract the pOH from 14 to get the pH of 12. Remember, though, if the base has two hydroxides, like calcium hydroxide or strontium hydroxide, you're going to multiply the molarity by 2. To find the pH of a weak acid, we're going to make sure that we look for the Ka. That'll be a hint that it's a weak acid. Remember that the Ka expression is equal to H plus times A minus over HA. Uh, this expression right here is found on your formula sheet. And we are going to set the Ka equal to X squared over initial. When we find our X, that's going to be equal to the H plus. We negative log the H plus to get the pH. If they also asked you to find the percent dissociation, we then put the X over initial times 100 to get the percent dissociation. So if our example is to find the pH and the percent dissociation of a 0.01 molar HA, which is a, just a generic weak acid, with a Ka of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 8, the reaction that drives this is HA yields H plus plus A minus. We're going to do the Ka, uh, set the Ka equal to x squared over initial. Sorry, I had a little, uh, made a little mistake over here. Sorry about the cross out. But we're going to set the Ka equal to x squared over initial, which is what's in this box right here. The x that comes out is going to give us the concentration of H+. Plus. When we calculate that, the H plus concentration in the calculator was 1.2649 times 10 to the minus 5 molar. We negative log that and we get a pH of 4.90. In order to do the percent dissociation, we're going to do X over initial times 100. When we set those numbers into the equation, we wind up getting 0.126% dissociation.